How can you properly protect your medic as a TF2 player? So for a little context on this, I was messaged on Steam by a user called Turkey Sandwich, who offered to give me three things, just out of the kindness of his heart. Wonderful guy. Then we started playing some games together, and he decided to pocket me as medic. And that's when I realised, keeping medics alive is hard. So take this as my video guide to a bumper load of tips of keeping your medic safe. We start with part one, the easiest and probably the most obvious, choosing the right class. As we all know, the medic's defence system comes down to either peeing his pants or hopping into someone else's to pee, and therefore he's going to need a lot of protection. As we all should know by now, TF2's classification of attack, defence and support classes doesn't really add up to what their modern day counterparts are. Generally the best way to categorise TF2's modern day classes is by pick, power or support. Classes that fall into the pick category are those designed to get kills on important targets like sniper or scout. Those in the power class are there to deal damage and soak it up as well, think heavy and soldier with their high health pools. And then you have some odd mixes in the support, like engineer and medic. Engineer is even more of a support class than the medic is, so why he's in the defense is a mystery to anyone else. This method of categorization accounts for weapon unlocks and everything that the original 2007 game didn't, and therefore we will be basing our system off of this. So for the scenario of this video, we're going to assume that you either have a friend who's pocketing you, or you've made friends with the server medic, and you want to protect them. And the first step to that obviously is playing the right class. Classes like soldiers, demos, heavies and pyros do a really good job at protecting the medic. And engineers too, but specifically on defence. Payload maps I tend to find this works very well. If your engineer is set up on a payload map at the very beginning of the round, and you're playing as a medic, you should stick around him, as he'll provide safe coverage with his sentries and healing with his dispenser. However, the longer the game goes on, the more of a target the engineer and his sentry nest become, as he should actively be stopping the enemy from completing their objective. So, in the late minutes of the game, I don't recommend hanging around the engineer. Pyros would be your second worst choice, but that's usually only because of the clientele who played them. A good pyro can keep his medic alive and then some, but the thing is, a good pyro is often going to be playing soldier or demo. Demos come next, as while their incredibly high damage output is great, it's also quite hard to aim as demo, therefore if they were playing a different class like Soldier, they'd have a much easier time. Heavy's next. The Heavy isn't as good of a pocket as everyone seems to think, and it's purely down to his speed. He just doesn't have the speed and or reactability time to react to others like, say, a Soldier could. And my pick for the best pocket is obviously the Soldier. The Soldier's mobility and rocket jumping, his high damage output, and of, and of course his large health pool make him a serious threat in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, if your medic friend is playing medic and wants to stick near you, I recommend playing one of these three. An important thing to mention is that the other classes aren't not worth healing. Snipers, for example, need the overheal the most as they're going up against other snipers. If your sniper is overhealed, he has a much higher chance of surviving. Scouts would be next for the overheal as they are often running headfirst into danger and they're going to need that extra health. Medics don't always need healing, but when they do, make sure you can. Having two medics alive is always going to be better than having just the one. And lastly, the Spy is going to be your last overheal priority target, purely because he's going to be spending more of his time behind the enemy lines next to health packs. So, we now know the class priority order in which you should play if you want to keep your medic alive, and which one to perform the job much worse. So this leads us to part 2, playstyle. Essentially, you have to circle your medic like he's the intelligence. 90% of the danger is going to be in front of you, but the 10% of danger that will be behind you, say spies or scouts, is going to be very dangerous. So it's essential you need one eye on the battlefield, and the other eye on your medic. Play around him in a circular motion. If you're a pyro, extinguish him and air blast. If you're a heavy, make sure you take time to retreat and give him a sandwich. And soldiers and demos shouldn't go off blast jumping leaving him for dust. This small team here is the prime example of what I call good medic protection. See we have the heavy as our main power class, the pyro as our backup slash support, and the medic as our pure support. The pyro will run around the flanks, manage them, making sure that the medic is extinguished and no one's creeping up on him. The heavy will be on the front lines, dealing most of the damage and taking it as well. And then the medic behind, making sure that everyone's fully topped up. This here is a concept put into action that a race haven't explained many years ago. While he recommends using soldiers and scouts together, I personally recommend using heavies and pyros together, as a pyro is a much better support class than a scout is. And his ability to deal with close quarters threats like scouts and spies makes him a wonderful match for heavy. Number three, health consciousness. So we are gamers, we are not conscious about our weight and or health, but knowing when you're hurt and knowing when your medic's hurt goes a long way. 
You being hurt is just as important as your medic being hurt. Sure, he can heal you back, but if you die, he's left for dead. When your health dips into the lower oranges or in the reds, make sure you retreat. It's when retreating that your medic can actually be a bit of a bodyguard for you, as he'd usually be at full health, therefore he can soak up a small amount of the hits while he heals you up to a threshold where you can soak up the rest. Remember to guide him to health packs or locate him to wherever he might need to go. And of course, the number one neglected thing in TF2 medic combos is ammo. Heavies go through ammo. Demos go through ammo. We need to be very conscious of our ammunition. If you start to fall back, make sure to let your medic know with body signals and voice commands. Part 4. Communication. The most important command in the game is go go go. If you can't use voice chat, if you don't have enough time to text chat, this is the way to go. Repeatedly telling your medic to go 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 implies that you want him to uber charge you or that you're about to move out somewhere. Likewise, retreating and yelling go 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 also learns your medic that you want to retreat and go to somewhere else safer. I essentially have this key bound to my wasty keys. Of course there are other more specific ones like hit that charge doctor and all that other stuff. But go 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 is generally the safest, the quickest and the best for every scenario. And number 5, this little number right here. You can see your medic's health and he can see your ammo. So in theory this should make the fantastic team. However, oftentimes both neglected. Make sure if your medic's taking damage to extinguish him or do whatever you can to help. This is why I recommended pyros earlier as they can not only extinguish but reflect oncoming danger. And heavies too, as using their sandwiches is always a great way to top the medic up. Soldiers also fall under fantastic support with their banners. As a medic, you gotta make sure if you see a banner soldier, keep him alive as your number one priority. As a banner soldier is more instrumental to the team and therefore the objective than a solo soldier carrying, say, the gunboats. And there you have it, my top 5 most important tips for keeping you and your medic alive. I was originally going to upload a video on the airstrike today going on about how much I love it, but when I started to record footage for that, Turkey Sandwich messaged me, we started to get long, and then I basically made this video dedicated to him. Again, huge thank you for Turkey Sandwich. <laughs> I'm thanking the Turkey Sandwich. For being willing to donate me some really cool stuff. Likewise, if you also want to donate some stuff to me, first of all, you don't have to, ever. Second, you really don't have to ever. But third, just make sure that you really didn't want to. My Steam name is Noncador. So in a hypothetical scenario in which you wanted to donate free stuff, which you should not, you could find me at Noncador on Steam. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later down the sunny road.